Okay, I said it was going to be three videos, but I decided to do four because I felt like I needed to explain once again, even though I, I showed what to do. I just want to be crystal clear about it. Um, while I'm talking, I'm going to show you. These are my containers that I took the, the flopped batch of Shalo out of. These are um, eight ounce containers. And I'm going to put them... Just gonna reuse them and talk while I do this. You can fix a broken batch of just about everything if you are re-adding your amounts to it. Um, I know I'm not looking at you guys. I apologize. It's kind of rude, but um, I just wanna you know reassure you guys if if you if you mess up a batch, you can fix it. I mean this is proof positive it can be fixed I mean I, I have no no separation and it's quite warm in here and you would see separation of aloe vera from the butters by now if you um if there was going to be any um it's a patience thing it's it's a patience and a um a confidence thing if, if you don't have the confidence that you're going to be able to complete this batch then you're more than likely going to make mistakes and that's where the the base the patience and the time comes in to you know complete this batch if you're wondering what I'm doing I have this on on my lap here you see how nice and fluffy that is as compared to when it was when I showed you when I first started um Doing things like this is not an easy thing. If if you're not comfortable with making your own batches of stuff, then by all means, it's okay to buy it. But at least, you know, give it a try. If you give it a try after a couple of tries and you still have failure, then it's okay to give up. Um, I'm not saying, you know, that you should go around and be like, oh, I can't make this. I'm I'm stupid or I'm crap or something. No. It's okay. Some people are not adept or, or do not just have the, the time, the patience, or, you know, just the, the skill to do something like this. I mean, it, it's relatively easy, but the science of how much, you know, most fine wax to add or how much lecithin to add, it, it can get to be a bit much, and I understand that. And that's why I, you know, give you guys help. I, I talk to you if you guys send me emails, and I, I get lots of them. <laughs> Lots and lots of them. <laughs> lots of them. I don't mind repeating myself. Um, I don't remind. I don't mind repeating myself, even if I've said it in a video a few times or so. Um, I will go ahead and and tell you again. Um, and just to help you out, to you know, try and talk you through it. I will give you detailed steps. You may end up with a, you know, a half an hour long reading. <laughs> email but I've been thorough and I explained it to you so um oops it's okay to fail you can fix it it, it can be fixed I fixed my shay I, I know you're saying oh it was easy for you because you know what you're doing this is somewhat true but it's just as easy for you if you can pay close attention to okay I use two and a half cups of shea butter should I put one and a half cups of aloe vera no because then you're not compensating for the amount of oils you should only have one part waters to four part oil and an emulsifier in between that and a half a part to bring them together and and that is how that should go and I, I hate speaking in parts or percentages but pretty much if you have if you're gonna make a shea low with just the shea butter and aloe vera gel if you have two cups of shea butter you should have only a fourth of a cup of aloe vera gel and you should have if you're using an emulsifier to bring it together or the lecithin, lecithin you should be using about two and a half tablespoons of e-wax or two tablespoons of lecithin and the lecithin should be added cold not hot cold you saw me pour it right from the bottle into the bowl I that's because I can you know eyeball my two tablespoons and know where it's around about that was two tablespoons I put in there and it was 
cold, not heated. If you heat it, it breaks the lecithin down, and that's why you end up with a watery mix. So, um, I think the emulsifying fa um, wax is a, a good investment. I think that if you're just going to do a, you know, shea butter with a couple of oils and some aloe vera, just a, a basic shea lo, um, you're not going to get too fancy with it like I do, you know. Um, if you're just going to do that and you just want to, you know, make it and sit it and you don't care about it coming apart, then that's fine as well. If you're, you know, really want to keep it together and get the full benefits out of not only your shalo and your aloe vera gel that's in it, but the emulsifying wax has benefits too. It is an emollient. It helps to soften the hair as well. It is a binder. It brings oil and water together in love. And... It has a slight preservative, it, well, not slight, it has a really good preserving um, preservative factor going with it because I still have a, a, a shalo that I made, the one that I, I showed you guys out of the um, video with Brianna's hair, um, my yellow. I've had that for months and months. As a matter of fact, that was made earlier last year, almost a year ago, and it's, it's still absolutely fine. No mold, no separation, no breakages, nothing. So, um, yeah, you can get stuff to, to last you a good long time and just have some time and some patience to put it together. Do y'all like the hair? Hubby called me Pippi Longstocking. Let me tell you why I have my hair like this. I know I'm off topic, but I have my hair like this because I started um, using my Demon brush to detangle my hair. and I was scared to use my Demon brush because... I hear people with my hair texture are going, oh my god, I ripped my hair out. I start at the ends of my hair when I go to detangle it and um, I work my way up. And I didn't have that, that ripping thing, so I started with like this section right here. And I um, detangled. Isn't that cool? <laughs> That's cool. If I wear this out, somebody would think I straightened my hair. Anyway, um, that's why I have my hair twisted like this. I generally do not wear my hair out like this. But I was in the house today, and I really didn't go anywhere. Um, actually, I did go somewhere, but I had my hat on because it is ice cold out here in Texas, and it is raining. And the temperature is dropping, so I'm going to have to deal with freezing rain in the morning when we get up and go wherever we get up and go. All right, people. I didn't mean to make this an extra, extra long video. But I just wanted to show how much I, you know, I care about my 298 subscribers. I'm not in it for the subscribers. I appreciate that you subscribe. I appreciate that you guys, you know, take the time to watch my videos because I know they're long and they're time consuming. But I, I, I appreciate it. And so that's why I do what I do on here, not just for you, but for me. You know, if I have bad days, I'm going to get on here and I'm going to tell you about it. If I make a mix that I think is good, like, for instance, in the last few minutes that I have here, one of the best ever things that I have ever put on my face is fabulous. Everybody knows I wash my face with the black soap that I created. Um, for those who want to buy that soap, I am waiting to get a, a supplier so I can get more of the soap. Right now, I'm currently buying it in bars at $3.50 a bar, and that is not happy for me. So as soon as I get my supplies and everything together, I will start mass producing the black soap for you guys. Um, so anyway, everybody knows that I wash my face with that, and it is helping to clear up. Looking beautiful. And... um. I went into this book that I got. It says Natural Beauty um, Recipe Book is what it is. And there's a recipe in there for oatmeal and yogurt and um, honey. And you put that together and make a mask. Well, I added some secret little ingredients to it and slid that on in my face. And um, made the mask after I washed my face and everything. Oh, excuse me. Fabulous. Oh, my God. It was so good, and you know, it's actually helping my face out some. And I just came off my time of the month, so I'm just happy that I only have like one or two breakouts and not the, you know, 15 or 20 that I usually get. Alright, patience, love, you can fix it if it's broken, and try not to stress about it. Just take some time and put it back together. Alright, YouTube, love you. Bye.